now on WRDE Coast TV. Goodbye to the beach. After a second visit this month to our coast, the president returns to Washington where controversy over his family finances awaits. Signs to stop marijuana use, the latest effort in Dewey Beach to curb illegal drug and alcohol use. From the beaches to the bay, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV, your local news at 11 starts right now. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Matt Pensick and welcome to Coast TV News Midday. Right now we're dealing with sunny and hot conditions on this late Monday morning, but we are tracking some the possibility of severe weather or strong weather later tonight. It's first alert weather day and to tell us more about that, here's first alert meteorologist Bob Trihe and first alert weather. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Matt. Yes, indeed. Hard to tell right now that we have a first alert weather day because it is so nice out there right now, but we do have a first alert weather day for the potential of severe weather later on this evening. Much of the day is quiet. We have a level two risk of severe weather. That's a slight risk. You can see all the yellow all across Del Marva right now and farther back to the west. Basically, scatter storms possible this evening. I'm thinking what we're looking at is perhaps wind damage and also some heavy rain, but right now we're in good shape. This is our visible satellite picture showing a mixture of sun and clouds. Nothing going on across Del Marva. There is a warm front starting to head to the north, so we could see a pop up storm as we go into the afternoon, but there's a lot more energy across the Ohio Valley, and it will be that energy that could trigger that severe weather this evening. Right now we've got mid to upper 80s inland at the present time with lower 80s along the coast and dew point temperatures in the 60s and 70s. So a lot of places have feels like temperatures already into the 90s. So here's future cast. You can see that we're looking at well, mostly sunny skies into the three o'clock hour looking good till about six. And then after that, we're looking at showers and storms and some of those will be heavy and packing a punch. And I think they will last through about nine or 10 o'clock. Then things should start to quiet down after that. Here's our day part forecast close to 90 this afternoon with increasing storms as we go into this evening and tomorrow. Tomorrow is another first alert weather day. I'll talk about all the storm impacts for today and tomorrow coming up. All right, thanks a lot, Bob. Developing news out of Rehoboth Beach about an hour ago. President Biden ended his weekend visit to his North Shore's home, his second trip in as many weeks, and is heading back to the White House. He returns as controversy heats up over his Attorney General Merrick Garland's appointment of one of the authors of the failed Hunter Biden plea deal, Delaware Federal Attorney David Weiss, to serve as special counsel in the case against the president's son. Chairman of the House Oversight Committee James Comer says it was a move to stonewall congressional oversight. For his part, Garland said it reinforces the president's Department of Justice's commitment to independence and accountability. Today in Dewey Beach, new signs are placed throughout the town. Signs are just the latest way of curbing crime and enforcing its no drug and alcohol policies. They show restrictions on smoking marijuana, cigarettes, and e-cigarettes along with alcohol. Town leaders say they want to make sure that it is enforced in Dewey Beach. We want everybody in Dewey Beach to come and have fun. It's a great town. We have great sunrises and great sunsets. We have the ocean in the bay. But if you come to our town, we expect you to follow the rules and the laws of the state and the codes of the town. And the town council in Dewey Beach came to a unanimous decision on the ban of the sale of marijuana in town limits. Some commissioners say they aren't against the drug, but they want to keep Dewey Beach's family atmosphere. If you're driving or if you were driving on the northbound lanes of Route 13 early Sunday morning, you likely experienced delays due to this overturned tractor trailer in Delmar. This is in the area of the Dollar General store. According to the Delmar Fire Department, hours were spent dealing with that truck and some diesel fuel that spilled from it. This closed the northbound lane for the rest of the morning. The fire department there says no injuries were reported from the overturned truck. Developing news in Maui this morning, teams say they've managed to contain what is now described as the deadliest U.S. wildfires in modern history. There are at least 96 victims, dozens of others injured. And NBC's Jay Gray shows us that Hawaii's governor warned those numbers are expected to grow as the search and recovery effort continues to grow. The images don't begin to show the extent of what's been lost here. Our cars have burned up, their friends are dead, the dogs and animals are dead, everybody's dead. There's dead people in the water. For those that call this island home, the horror is overwhelming. 
areas, including historic Lahaina, ravaged by the fire. More than 2,000 structures, homes, and businesses now rubble and ash. Tourists in this vacation paradise, replaced by first responders, recovery teams, and cadaver dogs. Their grisly task made even more difficult by the intensity of the flames. The remains we're finding is through a fire that melted metal. We have to do rapid DNA to identify them. So just understand what this thing is, because none of us really know the size of it yet. Less than 10% of the burned out communities have been searched and already more than 90 victims identified. Hawaii's governor worried about what the growing effort could ultimately reveal. As a physician, it is a harrowing sight in Maui. Uh, when those police and this division do come across uh, scenes in houses or businesses is very difficult. Survivors. We need medicine. We need pillows, blankets, food. Struggling through at times unbearable pain. I haven't gotten a break and I'm just been like, I have to help. Like I have no other option. Aching as they try to figure out what's left and what comes next. Jay Gray, NBC News, Maui. Up, Geloff going deep. The big day at the plate in D.C. for Hope Beach's Zach Geloff for Oakland. That's coming up on Coast TV News Midday. Today at 4 on Coast Life, discover diverse home flooring options. Deep dive with Din Rex Life in the Bay educational journey. Plus, savor the expertise of Dell Tech's culinary arts program. Coast Life today at 4 on Coast TV. Sunkiss Summer Mixtape on 102.5 WBOC. Brought to you by Bass by Spicer Brothers. Delmarva customers choose Coastal Bath. Coastal Bath works with you. We were able to get everything we wanted at the price we wanted. We just loved working with them. Coastal Bath gave us a beautiful walk-in shower. It's much safer. <laughs> Coastal Bath is the number one choice for us. Now extended. Coastal Bath sizzling summer savings is hot. Take 2500 off your new bathroom now through August 31st. Listen to Logan. <laughs> Local and family owned. Call or visit CoastalBaths.com to schedule a free in-home estimate today. The doctors of Delmarva Chiropractic take great pride in offering the finest, most individualized care to their patients and stay on the cutting edge of healthcare and clinical interventions. As winners of Coastal Style and Metropolitan Magazine's Best Chiropractors for seven years in a row, doctors Lane, Brown, and Taylor help with conditions such as back pain, sciatica, headaches, concussions, dizziness, and much more. The clinic also offers laser therapy, decompression, acupuncture, and custom orthotics. Call Delmarva Chiropractic today and take the first step toward achieving your maximum potential. Get ready to experience the ultimate sand, sea, and RV lifestyle event at the OCRV Show October 12th to the 15th at the Roland E. Powell Convention Center. Explore a vast collection of new RVs and custom van life builds tailored for those seeking the thrill of life on the road. Enjoy exciting activities like kayaking, supporting, fishing, and yoga, along with educational speakers, BMX demos, and bay cruises. The OCRV Show is the ultimate event for those who want to learn how to live it up when on the open road. Get tickets at OCRVShow.com and embark on a journey of a lifetime. Experience the thrill of the race with Post Time with Heather Vitale, only on the Delmarva Sports Network. From the energetic sprints at Ocean Downs to the hard racing action at Bally's Dover, all the way to the vibrant atmosphere of Harrington Raceway, we bring you the true pulse of harness racing. Sunday mornings at 8 and 11.30 on DSN, DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com or on the DSN app. Post Time on Delmarva Sports Network. With beautiful beaches that attract thousands of people each year, it is important to have a team of lifeguards who are up to par. Sussex County lifeguards have proven they can handle almost anything. Over the weekend, the lifeguards from the county came in second place at the United States Life Saving Association Lifeguard Nationals. On your screen, we've got some pictures of that event. Over 100 lifeguards from around Sussex County competed as a team against other teams from across the country competition was held in Virginia Beach from Thursday to Saturday. Well, this weekend, family and friends of Rehoboth Beach's Zach Geloff ventured across the bay to the nation's capital, the Cape Henlopen High School grad, and his Oakland Athletics were in the Mid-Atlantic region for the first time since his promotion to the show last month and Sunday. 
It was a big day for Geloff. He had a double in each of his first two games of the series. First inning Sunday, got more than a double. It's big fly time for the guy from the beach. This is his seventh home run of the season. It puts the A's up 1-0 in the fifth inning. It's nearly the same part of the park. Two home runs in one game for Galoff. He went four for five, and the A's go up 5-1. to one. But the Nats, maybe come all the way back. Two outs in the ninth, tied at seven for Jeter. Downs, he delivers. Dominic Smith in from third with the game winner. And the Nationals, they get the sweep spoiling Geloff's return to his home area. Bethany Boardwalk Arts Festival is back. The event is returning for its 45th anniversary on Saturday, September 9th. And the event will host over 100 artists who are showcasing and selling their work. Artists specialize in many different mediums, including painting, woodwork, jewelry, and more. And that event runs from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're seeing a pretty decent day along the boardwalk in Rehoboth, a mix of sun and clouds, but don't let your guard down. We have a first alert weather day for the potential of severe weather this evening, plus another one for tomorrow. I'll break down the hazards and impacts coming up after the break. Over half of children's learning problems are related to vision. It may sound unbelievable, but 80% of learning is visual and very young children don't have the words to tell us what they're seeing. We use light to determine a toddler's prescription rather than asking which is better, one or two. Dr. Tracy Boss is accepting new patients of all ages, including pediatrics, at Chesapeake Eye Centers in Salisbury and Berlin. For more about Chesapeake Eye, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Days with me, April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through your workday. She can play your favorite song. She can help you find your furry friend. The easiest way to get through your workday is with April. She really makes you feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 each day from 10 to 3. Summer, summer time. No, no, honey, I'm good. I could have another, but I probably should not. When I met you in the summer. Sunkiss Summer Mixtape on 1025 WBOC. Brought to you by Bass by Spicer Brothers. Performing out of space? Yes, next July. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, I can't change these plans. We're still in the sun next summer. Uh -huh. Heist of a lifetime. Uh, uh, Come on, uh, you in? Uh, uh, Roman Reigns will defend his title against anyone, anytime. Except next July. Looks like the beaches are packed this late Monday morning. Gateway Subaru Cam, look at all the umbrellas, everybody in the water, 82 in Ocean City. But don't let your guard down. We've got perhaps severe weather as we go into this evening. So that's why I want to scan the QR code right there. That will get you to the Coast TV weather app. And you want to stay on top of the potential for severe weather. Interactive radar watches and warnings if those come about this afternoon. But right now, a good chunk of the mid-Atlantic is under a level two or a slight risk of severe weather. That includes Delmarva, D.C., back into the north of Virginia area. Now, this is for this evening that we have a low chance or isolated tornadoes possible. Maybe be large hail, strong winds in excess of 60 miles per hour are possible. Make sure if you have lawn furniture that it's secure. Trampolines, you might want to bring them inside if you can, or at least make sure you secure them because it could get windy later. Flash flooding is also a possibility. Now, right now we're in good shape. We're just seeing a mix of sun and clouds across Delmarva. Not too much going on as we do have 
warm front off to our south. And as this lifts to the north and interacts with the heating of the day, we could see a stray storm as we go into the afternoon. But there's a lot of energy back to the west, kind of a one two punch here, one area of low pressure across the Ohio Valley and a stronger one to the north and west of that. And those will be heading our way, increasing our threat for severe weather. It's getting warm out ahead of that system. 86 in Georgetown, 85 in Millsboro right now, 88 in Redden, some lower 80s showing up along the beaches. We've got dew points in the 60s and 70s, so it is very muggy out there, and that feels like temperature into the 80s, even middle 90s for some, as we have a bit of a sea breeze right now. Now, what we're looking at as we go into the afternoon, a mix of sun and clouds. Here's 3 o'clock, not showing an isolated storm there. It's possible at that time, a better chance around 530. And then as we go into this evening, about 7 p.m. on, that's when we could see a better coverage of some of these showers and storms moving through. This particular model, not all that enthused about seeing severe weather, but certainly be on guard for that. Then I think things quiet down very mild through the overnight. And then into Tuesday, we have a better chance of seeing severe weather. By 3 o'clock, we're into the lower 90s, upper 80s along the beaches, and we're going to be watching a cold front heading our way with showers and storms. And look at the coverage of these much broader than today. Heavy rain, vivid lightning, maybe an isolated tornado, and maybe hail as we go into the evening hours. And then Wednesday will be a much better day, drier day, with temperatures into the 80s. Now tomorrow, another first alert weather day. You can see Sussex County to the south and west. We have that, well, level two risk, a slight risk of seeing severe weather. So the main things will be strong winds and maybe some flash flooding and heavy rain, maybe an inch and a half of rain in some places under some of those heavier thunderstorms. We'll see those winds turning to the south and eventually to the south and west, and they'll get gusty, especially around storms. And then once that cold front comes through on Wednesday, we'll see the wind shifting to the northwest and our humidity levels start to lower. Here's your Paul Davis seven day forecast 89 with the storms later this evening. First alert weather days today and tomorrow. Tomorrow's high of 90, a much bigger coverage of those storms. We'll be watching those 83 Wednesday, lower humidity, middle to upper 80s into the end of the week. Right now, the weekend looking warm and dry. All right, thanks, Bob. Still ahead, Bankman Freed back in jail. The latest for the big money donor to the Democrat Party in his fraud trial. Coast TV News Midday, back in a moment. Party decor and more. The store that has all your party supply needs. Festive holiday decor. Game day team supplies. Balloons that are safe for the sky. Announcing a special surprise. And of course, something for every birthday year that flies by. Party decor and more. The only party store at the beach. Midway Shopping Center in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Farmers Bank of Willards and Delmarva Sports Network want to congratulate this year's Scholar Athlete Award winners. We are incredibly proud of your work on and off the field. These awards are made possible by Farmers Bank of Willards. Athletic excellence and academic excellence can be married together in a way that makes this community a better place. We love supporting the local schools, the local athletes. They are our future, so that's why we wanted to participate in the program. Good luck in your next chapters, future leaders. Get in gear with Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. It's Free Truck Fridays, your ticket to a new 2023 Ford Ranger thanks to Pohanka Ford of Salisbury. Stay tuned to Big D and Bubba all week as they reveal the Free Truck Friday song. Then listen to April and me to play the song, be caller 10, and you might be parking a new 2023 Ford Ranger in your driveway. Drive over to CoastCountry.com for all the details. Coast Country's Free Truck Fridays with Pohanka Ford of Salisbury. Where your drive to work could upgrade your ride home. Never miss a game for your favorite local team. Take the DSN app with you wherever you go. Whether you're out to eat, camping with friends, or at home relaxing with your family, the DSN app notifies you when your team is on live so you can watch the game as it happens or watch videos on demand. Keep up with local sports all from one app. From your mobile device to Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV. Download the DSN app today. Driven by Preston Automotive Group. First Alert Weather is our promise to be the first to tell you when big changes are coming in your weather forecast. Whether it's day-to-day -day weather that changes your plans or severe weather that could change your life. The First Alert Weather team will call for First Alert Weather Days. Here on TV and all of your devices. 
It's our commitment to give you the most accurate forecast. The WRDE First Alert Weather Team. That's our promise to you. FTX founder Sam Bankman Freed is behind bars after his bail was revoked in a New York hearing. A federal judge ordered the one-time crypto billionaire and big donor to the Democrat Party be remanded into custody immediately. Prosecutors successfully argued that Bankman Freed tried to tamper with witnesses in the lead-up to his financial fraud trial. You can soon get two of your favorite things, Target and Starbucks, in one stop and never even have to leave your car. Target's curbside pickup will soon include orders from Starbucks. Shop the Target app and place your Target order for pickup. You will get a prompt in the app to order something from Starbucks. Target says the drive-up service that includes Starbucks orders will be available in all locations by October. Airfares reportedly dropping as the travel season wraps up later this month. The data from travel site Hopper says the average domestic round trip right now, $257. That is down 11% compared to last year. Coming up, singing to lift spirits, the ability to help hospital patients through song. Stay with us on Coast TV News Midday. Del Marva's hit music station, 1025 WBOC. NBC Primetime Monday starts tonight at 8 on Coast TV, followed by Coast TV News at 11. Brought to you locally by West Shore Home, making home remodeling fast, easy, and convenient for homeowners across America. Before you celebrate your new home, protect your surfaces with HydroShield. HydroShield prevents unwanted stains from penetrating the surfaces in your home. Our eco-friendly formulas eliminate the need for toxic chemicals, protecting you and your family. You paid good money for your services. Protect them with HydroShield. Call today for your free total home protection estimate. And relax, we have you covered. Learn more about our total home protection at HydroShieldDelmarva.com. Are you game? Well, let's go, come on. To take a spin. I am ready. Tell me what you got. To take a chance. That could be $10,000 there. To make a guess. Hilarious punchline. You got it. Whoa. To take a trip. To Maui. <laughs> to win it all. Parting way. That's it. Oh. The take a spin on the Wheel of Fortune. Weeknights at 7 on WRDE. Keep up with local sports all from one app. From your mobile device to Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV. Download the DSN app today. Driven by Preston Automotive Group. A pastor who works at one U.S. hospital says he's bringing some comfort and solace to patients and staff with his voice. Amanda Gaither shows us the singing chaplain and how he says music is helping to lift the spirits of those around him. For Reverend Chris Kayampa, going to work means sharing two things he loves, his faith and his music. I'm just singing. <laughs> For the past decade at Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, Kayampa has clocked in for work with a guitar in hand. It touches people in a way that maybe other ways of communicating with folks don't. He projects lyrics and allows patients on various hospital floors to pick what they'd like to hear from a list of more than 180 songs. I have seen folks who were you know, just tired and just ready to kind of give up 
get a little extra kick in their step from singing a, a good old Beatles song. From hymns to punk rock, Kayampa says he sings all genres and allows patients to add songs to his list, with some exceptions. Sometimes I get some uh, some suggestions that uh, the chaplain probably ought not sing. <laughs> he says the songs of encouragement are the most requested. Whether it's, you know, a, a hymn like Amazing Grace or whether it's, hey, Jude, don't make it bad, you know, make it better. His work isn't just about music. He says it's about acknowledging what these patients are going through is hard. To help life be a little bit better, even if it's only for 45 minutes, it's still a little better at that moment. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Neat story there. Music is good for the soul. Otherwise, we've got a nice quiet weather day, but we've got a first alert weather day for today and tomorrow for Delmarva for the potential of severe weather. Then our weather quiets down the rest of the week. I'll have the 10 day forecast coming up after the break. After my dad suffered a stroke, it was my turn to help him choose which rehabilitation hospital was best. I asked the medical staff who they trusted and they said, Encompass Health. Advanced therapies have made them the nation's largest system of rehabilitation hospitals. Coverage on the road, in your community, along the coast. The IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep, live on the street, day or night. From breaking news to weather in your town, the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Coverage you can count on. Jay Leno. These French guys are smooth, aren't they? <laughs> I do declare, Mr. Only. <laughs> and Kevin Ubex. But I'll tell you what, Kevin's gonna give you a hundred bucks, right, Kevin? <laughs> Bring their own twist. Get out of here, really? No, you get out of here. To a TV classic. Let's play. <laughs> you bet your life. If I come home broke, my wife's gonna kill me. It's all fun and games. <laughs> Weekdays at 11:30 on WRDE Coast TV. The men and women working hard to make sure the games are fair. The unsung heroes of all sports. Thank you to all of the officials on Delmarva. Thank you for your positive impact on young athletes. Your service does not go unnoticed. If you're interested in becoming a sports official on Delmarva, go to delmarvasportsnetwork.com slash officials for more information. Middays with me, April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through your workday. She can play your favorite song. She can help you find your furry friend. The easiest way to get through your workday is with April. She really makes you feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 each day from 10 to 3. Today is a first alert weather day, but I don't think the storms arrive till about 7 o'clock this evening. Until then, we're looking at a mixture of sun and clouds. Now's the time to make sure everything's hunkered down outside. Anything that could blow away potentially is secured. 90, I think, for the high. Then we start to see the storms this evening. They could produce heavy rain and gusty winds. And here's your Paul Davis 10-day forecast. Another first alert weather day for Tuesday. This one could be more potent with the cold front, more widespread showers and thunderstorms and heavy rain. 
we'll be watching that for sure. Then it dries out after that, mid to upper 80s for the rest of the week. Then for the weekend, looking good, mostly sunny, 84 Saturday, 90 on Sunday. All right, thanks, Bob, and thank you for being here with us for Coast TV News Midday and for more news and local weather. Download our Coast TV News app. Don't forget to join us later for Coast TV News at 5. Until then, have a great Monday, everybody.